Hey there! Did you know that liking and subscribing, <clears throat> liking and subscribing to Meow Chicken's channel will inevitably cause new elements to form on the periodic table of elements? It's true. We're only at 103, and that's a pretty lousy number for being alive thousands and thousands of years, humans. So subscribe, and maybe we'll see what 104 is. You know what I think it'll be? I think it'll be diamond blocks. But no, that's not really true because diamond blocks are already here. They're already the carbon. So what is the carbon? It's six, isn't it? Six something on the valence shell. I think this is it. I think this is what this is made out of. I also think it's what this is made out of. So that was enough science for today. Like and subscribe, and I promise I won't do any more science if I get, um, let's see, let's go for a thousand subscribers. Then no more science lessons. But until then, expect to see more of the chart. Anyway, today I'm teaching you how to make a scoreboard. And not just any scoreboard, a really kick butt scoreboard. Like, my bottom scoreboard here is showing me my stats and that's really good but th this one's a little different if you ever watched my old scoreboard video then this is it it has this ticking redstone component and if any of you ever saw me make this you may have noticed the redundancy of something and if not I'm gonna show it to you right now because I am remaking this. So, right now I have this machine, which is a timer. Every 60 ticks, it turns these blocks into netherite and makes a redstone block. And it goes up there, moving this along, firing these at different times. But I could just have these do that, and it is so obvious. So, all of this needs to go. What is this stuff? Well, this stuff's doing my scoreboard right there. You can see it scrolls through three different options. Well, now there's way more options. So I've got to change that. Um, not really, though. I might not. But there, there is. There's an option. I might add even more stats. I used to just have three. There was Meower Level, Key Charge, and Cat Crystals. But I just added pain, thirst, and stress, and I, I might keep going and making more stats. Anyway, if I do, I'm going to need this to be simpler. I can't keep adding chains to this, and I realized that. And when I did, I came and looked at it and realized I was being redundant. This piece does not need to exist. So, I get rid of all of that, and all of that. And I just use this, but I have to stack it. So the first one I want to always display is the power level. So let me copy these power levels. I just need to move this here. Whoops. Right there, yeah. And then move this there. Now the next one I want to show is the key charge, and that's going to be this one. So I'll copy this, put that there, and I'll copy this, and put that there. Next thing is this, which is going to be the money displayer, and I put that there. And the reason there's two of each of these is because one of them shows it on the pause menu and one of it shows over the players heads you can't see mine over my head but if there were other players here I could show you their stats there so now I can get rid of this part and what I'm gonna do is this one's going up to 180 this one is zero now this one becomes a chain but needs to be 60. 
This one's a chain, good. Now this one becomes a chain and I set it at 60. Oh, and I need to make all of these always active. So this one needs to be always active. And now this one even needs to be always active. So now I have the same scoreboard. That's it, there's my scoreboard. So this is a cycling scoreboard. You can add as many different scores as you want. And the way I have it set up, you can also have it showing over the players' names. Now let me show you how it works. This is it. I just removed a huge piece of it, so I made it way easier. The first one is scoreboard objectives, set display, list, D power. So this is my scoreboard for power. Your scoreboards may have different names, but every time this fires, it shows that one on this list. Now this one shows it below name. And that's, that's another way to do it. Now to show you something, if instead of list, I used sidebar, it's gonna show it on the sidebar once it gets to it. Yeah, see there it is. Now I could set a bunch of them to sidebar and it would cycle through my stats over there. But I prefer to keep the stat, the personal view of the stats down here at the feet. I also have a way to disable it just because they're kind of cumbersome over there, especially if they're cycling. See how I can show all three of them? Over there, I would only be able to show that one. Now the difference is the sidebar lets you see all the player's stats. So the bottom one just shows my stats. It's a personal bar. But if you set up all the stats on the sidebar over there, you would see them every time for everybody. So I need to get it, what, where was it? I need to get it to not show in the sidebar anymore. I need to do list. There we go, all right, now I need to clear that thing. Scoreboard objectives. Huh. Set display, sidebar. Maybe I just typed nothing, yeah. That did it, haha. <laughs> Cool. All right, so now it's back to cycling in there. So the next one, I have it set to delay in no ticks. This one delays in 180 because I want to show three different stats. So I do, for how long do I want to show each stat will be 60 ticks. So 60 times three is 180. Now this one fires every 180 ticks. This fires instantly. This is the, the other one that's the same. Now this one's delayed in 60 ticks. And this fires instantly. This one is delayed in 60 ticks. And this fires instantly. So it goes 180 ticks, boom, this one. 60 ticks, boom, this one. 60 ticks, boom, this one. Then in 60 more ticks, it's going to do this one again. So they'll all cycle forever at the same speed. Perfect. And they're all the exact same code, if you haven't noticed. See? It's all scoreboard objectives, set display list, and then the different stats you want to show. So to show different stats, I mean, I've shown it before in other things, but it's pretty easy. This is, these are the machines that I create my stats with. So what is this this is the thirst stat so i do a chain of commands here repeat unconditional needs redstone scoreboard objective remove and then d is the um it's the dummy version or actually it's the it's the dual version of this so you'll see use dual thirst or d thirst here 
then at this one, and replace thirst with whatever your stat is. Scoreboard objectives, add D thirst, dummy, and then in parentheses put what you want for your stat to look like. Now here you've got chain unconditional, always active, and it's scoreboard players, add at all, thirst zero. So here you don't use the dual um, scoreboard, you use the regular scoreboard. Now up at the final one, you use the dual one again. Scoreboard objective, set display, list, D thirst. Hmm. Now, let me explain the rest of this machine. You want an observer going into this block, looking out here at a piece of redstone, and then you want a comparator with the little red knob down looking at that redstone coming out of this block and this is repeat unconditional always active test for at all and then right above it execute as at all at at s run scoreboard players operation at s d thirst so the d version of your scoreboard equals at s thirst now what the heck is this machine and why do I have it instead of just having a thirst scoreboard? Well, there's a lot of reasons. This thing prevents um, players' stats from staying around. Like right now, you only see mine because I'm the only person playing. But if a bunch of people show up, you'll see theirs too. And then if they leave, it'll usually say player offline and still show their stats. This gets rid of their stats, but not really. It makes them invisible. And so your stats don't disappear. They can come back and they don't have to start from scratch. All their stats are still hidden there inside of the dual tag or the dual scoreboard. So this thing's genius. I forget where I found it, but it's brilliant. And now the next thing you need to do is make the scoreboard. So you need to make thirst scoreboard objectives, add your thing and then dummy, and then just type it again. Cause you're never going to see this. And this is just a machine to trigger it once. So I flipped that and now I have the scoreboard. I could kind of just destroy those, but I'm trying to make things so I can import them to new levels and stuff. Okay. Now that you know that, you know how to make a scoreboard, and you also know how to display it. What about, like, making things that, that uh, you know, that matter? Well, I can show you how I do it. So I have these rewards that increase as your power level increases, and here's what that looks like. Every 60 ticks, these fire off, giving people who have power greater than 300 haste or whatever each one does see I'll click on a bunch of them and you'll see they're all the same command well difference they're either effect or enchant and they affect everyone that has a score and the way you display that is right there power is one of my um, scoreboard stats and so there's really no limit to what you can do you just have to come up with it uh, I've got a bunch of other stuff too like if you want to affect people based on these let's see right here when you get over 90 stress you start to go blind this only triggers every um, 10,000 ticks and it lasts uh, 15 seconds so once you become nine, really, really stressed out, you'll start to get flashes of darkness. And that's just, you know, that's another thing you can do. So this has been a tutorial on how to make a scoreboard. It's also been a display of how you can make big mistakes with your coding and then go back later and find way easier ways of doing things. So make sure to keep subscribed to the channel. Maybe I'll find an even easier way Probably not. This one's pretty much been brought down to bedrock. So, yeah, I used a bedrock reference. 
in Minecraft Bedrock. I'll see you next time, guys.